shoes. They're a high stake endeavor for women. They convey our artistry and our athleticism. For me as a powerful black woman feminist, my high heels say that my challenging and unpredictable nature are purposely cultivated. My soul searching partner for today is Teresa Younger. She's the CEO of the Ms. Foundation for Women. Teresa, what are we shopping for today? Today, we are shopping for a pair of shoes for my gala. Every year, the Glory Awards, in honor of Gloria Steinem, actually has a big gala. And we are recognizing women activists throughout the country who have been doing some amazing work. The Ms. Foundation is a national women's foundation. In fact, it's the oldest women's foundation in the country. The idea was that women would put their time, treasure, and talents towards helping other women in a very concerted way. Were you nervous about taking on the role of being <laughs> the head of the Ms. Foundation as an African-American woman? I met Gloria Steinem about 10 years ago doing women HIV and AIDS work. So it is interesting that all these years later, here I am, the head of a foundation that had historically not been run by women of color, and here I am at this time, right, under a black president, in a time when women's voices are as dynamic and needed as ever. Mm -hmm. And so this is really a unique time. And I think every morning I get up and I pinch myself and I'm eternally grateful that I have this platform to talk about the issues that I think are most critical. Did you have a favorite pair of shoes as a, as a kid, as a little girl? <laughs> I don't think so. Shoes were always a traumatic experience for mm. me. I always had big feet, so I could never find shoes that fit me in the store. And so shoes were just a byproduct of trying to get by. I gave up the idea of being able to find cute shoes that fit me and that were going to be comfortable, right? Mm. So it wasn't until I became an adult that I actually found shoes that I liked. And I always wanted like bright red shoes. You know, I'm 5'9", so I always wanted a good two inch heel that made me look tall and lean and statuesque. And I think people always assumed because I was tall that I didn't want to have high heels and I really did. I always feel like heels make me feel powerful, right? Yes. And so there's a nice there's a nice sense of being able Absolutely. to do that. Please, how are you? Hi. Can I do this in a 10? Yep. And I'll take these in a 10 and okay, a half. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank That's you. Great, thanks. Hey, oh, wow. all right. What do we got? Great, thank you. Oh, I love bright colors. Oh, I love that blue. These are stunning. I love it. We might go from having the first black president to having the first woman president. And if we do, it's just an if, but if we do, do you think the work of something like the Ms. Foundation becomes unimportant? If we've had a black president and a woman president, will it not be important anymore to do this kind of work? Oh my gosh, I think it becomes more important to do this work if we have a woman president and having just concluded with our first black male president. And the reason why is because we didn't become a post-racial society after President Obama became president. And we won't become a post-feminist society after Hillary Clinton becomes president, hopefully. If we have a first female president, we're gonna also think that everything is okay. And there's a whole bunch of issues that won't go away just because she's in that role. It's true, I mean, having the first woman president isn't gonna solve everything. One of the big things that you all did this year with the Ms. Foundation was this idea of My Feminism Is. Yes. Tell me about it. We started a campaign called My Feminism Is, hashtag My Feminism Is, and what we determined through polling was that when you ask people if they believe in the social, political, and economic equality of all genders, they said yes. Hmm. And if you ask them if they were a feminist, many of them said no. So when we put the value and the definition together and said feminism is the social, political, and economic equality of all genders, everybody came to the table. It didn't matter who you were. So I gotta tell you, I like your shoes, I like your flats, but I'm standing here in, in these, and they're terrific, but I think these might be your shoes for the gala. You know what? Let me try those on. Yeah, I really... What I heard you say earlier, that you are a woman who has a new platform. And I gotta tell you, those are platforms. And that is a platform, Ms. Teresa Younger, that absolutely suits you and fits you. I kind of love them on you. I love these shoes. These may be the shoes I have to wear. I think you have to wear those for the gala. I really, really love them.